क्वेश्चन एट सेज दैट इन कंट्रीज लाइक USA and Canada temperature is measured in Fahrenheit so these countries use the Fahrenheit scale whereas in countries like India it is measured in Celsius so India uses the Celsius scale actually India has an interesting mix for things like temperature outside temperature in a city on a certain day we use the Celsius scale but to measure fever to measure body temperature we we use the Fahrenheit scale so for example when we say the body temperature is 100 degrees we are using the fahrenheit scale and it means that we have a fever anyway so the question then says here is a linear equation that converts fahrenheit to celsius f is equal to 9 by 5 into c plus 32 so this is the linear equation that relates f and c it helps us convert fahrenheit to celsius and vice versa then we have these five questions that we have to solve the first question says draw the graph of the linear equation above using celsius for x axis and fahrenheit for y axis so let's first start by doing this part okay so the fahrenheit celsius equation is f is equal to 9 by 5 times c plus 32 now to graph this equation we will find two specific solutions of this equation by giving two specific values to let's say the variable c and finding the corresponding values of the variable f so let's take c is equal to 0 if we do that substitute c equal to 0 into the equation we get f is equal to 9 by 5 into 0 plus 32 so we get f is equal to 32 so corresponding to 0 degree celsius the temperature is 32 degree fahrenheit and now let's take c equal to some other value because the the denominator here is 5 let me take a multiple of 5 uh, so that i get an integer value for f so let's take c equal to 10 so if i do that i get f equal to 9 by 5 into 10 plus 32 and 10 by 5 is 2 9 into 2 is 18 and 18 plus 32 is 50 so i get f is equal to 50 so corresponding to 10 degree celsius the corresponding fahrenheit temperature is 50 degrees fahrenheit now let's write these two solutions in the form of a table so that they are easy to read so we will make a cf table c for celsius f for fahrenheit and we will record our two solutions that we have obtained in this uh, table so the first solution we obtained was 0 comma 32 0 degree celsius equal to 32 degree fahrenheit and the uh, uh, second solution we obtained was 10 comma 50 so 10 degree celsius corresponds to 50 degree fahrenheit now we are going to graph the solution line the equa- uh, we are going to graph uh, this equation plot the solution line for this equation using these two specific solutions that we have found so here's the graph that i am going to use to plot the equation Uh, the uh, the horizontal axis represents c the temperature in celsius and the vertical ap- axis represents f the, the temperature in fahrenheit the two solutions we obtained were 0 comma 32 so 0 comma 32 would be a point on the y axis somewhere here between 30 and 35 on the y axis and the other solution was 10 comma 50 so 10 comma 50 would be this point here and these are the two solutions that we had obtained and now we just need to draw the line passing through these through these two points so let's do that let's draw the line passing through these two points this line this is the line that we will get so this is the solution line uh, or the graph of the fahrenheit celsius equation f equal to 9 by 5 c plus 32 make sure that you have observed that on the x axis we have celsius and on the y axis we have fahrenheit all right now coming back to the question we have completed the first part we have drawn the graph of the linear equation of the fahrenheit celsius linear equation now let's do part 2 part 2 says if the temperature is 30 degree celsius what is the temperature in fahrenheit so this is actually quite straightforward the temperature is 30 uh, degree cel- celsius so the fahrenheit temperature would be f equal to 9 by 5 times c c is 30 so 9 by 5 times 30 plus 
so how much is this equal to well 30 by 5 is 6 so 9 into 6 is 54 and we have 54 plus 32 that is equal to 86 so if the temperature is 30 degrees Celsius then in Fahrenheit uh, the temperature is 86 degree Fahrenheit and this completes part 2 now let's do part 3 in part 3 the question says if the temperature is 95 degree Fahrenheit, what is the temperature in Celsius? So we will substitute in the FC equation, we will substitute instead of F, we will write 95 and um, and we will find the value of C. So F is 95 equal to 9 by 5 C times C plus 32 and this is the equation that we have to solve. So 95 minus 32 is 63. So we get 9 by 5 C is equal to 63. And this gives us C equal to 63 divided by 9 by 5 or into 5 by 9. And 63 by 9 is 7 and 7 into 5 is 35. So we get C equal to 35, which means that if the temperature is 95 degree Fahrenheit, then in Celsius, the temperature is 35 degree Celsius and this completes part 3. Now in part 4 the statement says if the temperature is 0 degree Celsius what is the temperature in Fahrenheit and if the temperature is 0 degree Fahrenheit what is the temperature in Celsius. So let's um, solve this part. So if the temperature is 0 degree Celsius then we will substitute C equal to 0 in the FC equation. So we will get F is equal to 9 by 5 times C which is 0 plus 32. So 9 by 5 times 0 is 0 so we will get F is equal to 32. So this means that if the temperature is 0 degree Celsius then it will be 32 degree in Fahrenheit. And now let's solve the other part if the temperature is 0 degree Fahrenheit so we will substitute in the FC equation we will substitute this time F equal to 0 so we will get 0 uh, which is the value of F equal to 9 by 5 C plus 32 and from here we will find the value of C so we will get 9 by 5 C equal to minus 32 or we will get C equal to minus 32 into 5 divided by 9 so minus 32 into 5 is uh, minus 160 so we will get C equal to minus 160 divided by 9 and if you uh, carry out the division this will come out to be roughly minus 17.8 rounded off to one decimal place. So this means that corresponding to 0 degree Fahrenheit the temperature will be minus 17.8 uh, 17 degree Celsius. Now let's see if this correspond if this aligns correctly with the graph that we have drawn. So in the graph that we drew, uh, this is the point where uh, the line intersects the y-axis. So this point corresponds to C equal to zero or Celsius temperature of zero, and we can see that it intersects the Fahrenheit scale at 32. So this is the point zero comma 32. So corresponding to zero degree Celsius, the temperature is 32 degree Fahrenheit and this is what we found just now and this line intersects the C axis the horizontal axis at this point so this point corresponds to a Y coordinate of uh, 0 so Y coordinate is 0 that means Fahrenheit temperature is 0 and we can see that the Celsius value is uh, around minus 17 it's actually around minus 17.8 so this point has the coordinate uh, minus 17.8 comma 0 and this basically means that for a Fahrenheit temperature of uh, 0 degrees the Celsius temperature is minus 17.8 degrees. Alright so that completes question 4 and now we have to do part 5. So part 5 says is there a temperature which is numerically the same in both Fahrenheit and Celsius. So we have to find if there exists a temperature which has the same numerical value in both scales in both the Celsius and Fahrenheit scale. So let's assume that such a temperature exists and let's assume that it is x degree Celsius and also x degree Fahrenheit. So this means that we can substitute in, in the FC equation that we have we can substitute 
the value of c as x and the value of f also as x so let's do this so instead uh, so the equation that we have is f is equal to 9 by 5 c plus 32 so instead of f we will substitute x and instead of c also we will substitute x so we get x equal to 9 by 5 x plus 32 All right. Now let's solve this equation and see what value of x we get. Um, so let's bring nine by five x to the LHS. So on the LHS we will get x minus nine by five x, and on the RHS we will have thirty two. Now x minus nine by five x is minus four by five x, and on the right side we will have thirty two. So finally we will get x equal to thirty two into 5 by minus 4 so i've basically taken this term minus 4 by 5 and taken it to the right side inverted it and this is what we get 32 by minus 4 is minus 8 and minus 8 into 5 is minus 40 so we do get a value of x the value of x we get is minus 40 which means very interestingly that minus 40 degree celsius this temperature is also minus 40 degree fahrenheit so there is exactly one temperature which has the same numerical value in both the celsius and fahrenheit scale in all other cases um, the same temperature has two different values in the celsius and fahrenheit scale for example we found that the temperature 30 degree celsius is equal to 86 degree fahrenheit the temperature 35 degree celsius is equal to 95 degree fahrenheit and so on but there is exactly one temperature which is minus 40 degree celsius which also has the same numerical value in the fahrenheit scale minus 40 degree fahrenheit so that completes part 5 and with this we have completed question number 8 to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers